Hey fellow workers, my name is Kim Siever. Welcome back to my channel. You've probably heard the pervasive myth that the owning class, also known as the capitalist class, with its investments and entrepreneurship, holds the key to driving employment and fostering growth. Maybe you've even heard people refer to businesses as so-called job creators. However, when we closely examine this rhetorical device, we reveal a stark reality that it is the working class through their labor and consumption who are the true job creators. At the heart of the myth of capitalist job creation lies the belief that investments by the wealthy elite stimulate economic activity and generate employment opportunities. Indeed, proponents of this view often extol the virtues of trickle-down economics, which is the theory that tax cuts and deregulation for the wealthy will spur investments, leading to job creation and prosperity for all. This trickle-down approach, however, fails to deliver on its promises. Instead, it exacerbates inequalities and perpetuates the consolidation of wealth at the top. Contrary to popular belief, capitalist class does not employ people out of benevolence or altruism, but rather out of the pursuit of profit. In a capitalist economy, where the means of production, the land, the labor, the capital and entrepreneurship are privately owned and controlled. The primary objective of the owning class is to maximize their returns on investment. This insatiable hunger for profit prioritizes short-term gains over long-term sustainable employment, such as outsourcing jobs to low-wage countries, automating production processes to reduce labor costs, and engaging in speculative financial activities that contribute little to real economic growth. In fact, the concentration of wealth and power in the hands of the owning class undermines the very foundation of job creation and economic stability. As wealth becomes increasingly concentrated at the top, instead of distributed throughout the economy, consumer demand stagnates, leading to sluggish economic growth and higher levels of unemployment. And to add fuel to the fire, the pursuit of profit maximization often comes at the expense of workers' rights and well-being, leading to precarious employment conditions, stagnant wages, and a decline in living standards for the working class. In actuality, working class are the true job creators through their labor and consumption, driving economic activity and sustaining industries. It is the millions of workers who toil in factories, offices, and fields every day, producing goods and services that meet the demands and desires of society. Without their labor, the wheels of production would grind to a halt and the economy would cease to function. As well, the consumption patterns of the working class play a pivotal role in driving demand and stimulating economic growth. As the primary consumers of goods and services, the working class channels their wages back into the economy, creating a multiplier effect that generates additional income for businesses and creates jobs for their fellow workers. Businesses hire workers when demand for their goods and services increases, and increased demand is driven primarily by the working class, which comprise the majority of the population. Through their collective actions, workers are the real job creators. Solidarity.